Hey everyone, uh, this video today is going to be a little different than my usual videos. I thought I would pull a Shane Jensen, who's one of my subscribers, and he makes these videos every Friday, or sometimes on Fridays. He has this thing like every Friday he does, called uh, Friday Night Ritual, where basically he uh, starts off by ordering out some food from a uh, pizza place or something, it's a pasta, and uh, then he uh, watches Star Trek Next Generation. Then he has a couple glasses of wine, like a nice Shiraz or a Cabernet. And uh, then he watches old videos from the 80s, like music videos. So basically I've deconstructed it down to some kind of Italian type food, watch Star Trek, reconnect to the 80s somehow, and have some wine. So I'm going to put my own little spin on it. Um, not really a spoof or anything, I just thought it would be fun to do this, just to see what my version would be like. So, um, yeah. His Friday nights is when he gets off work from the sod farm, and my Mondays are just like my Fridays because I work weekends, so it's Monday night. And, uh, yeah, let's see what I got here. Got me some nice Pizza Hut cheese sticks I went out and got. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. We're going to do some serious fat things today. You know, a lot of people like to have some pasta and carb up right before they go on a jog, like running and exercising. I just like to carb up before I take a nap. I don't have any wine. I don't really like alcoholic beverages. I skip the whole fermentation thing. I go straight to the Walmart grape juice. I mean, it's pure. Pure juice. Mmm. That is a nice Concord grape right there. I like to sniff the cap. I don't have any fancy wine bottles. So I just have like a little juice bottle there. Mmm. An excellent vintage. Lovely. Yeah, so I'm um, not a big fan of Star Trek. But like Nightwolf, I am a big fan of Stargate. And I got some Stargate Atlantis here, because I've already seen SG-1. So I'm going to pop that on. Courtesy of Jukes.net, or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay, when I say go ahead and try the left one. Oh. That's the character of Rodney McKay, one of my favorites. He's a Canadian actor. He's actually on YouTube. I get the extra marinara sauce. You know, I thought about getting some um, chicken Alfredo to actually really get the Shane Jensen experience. It looked pretty good up there, but one time I had some fettuccine Alfredo or something. Gave me really bad acid reflux, so I kind of stayed away from those white pastas. I don't like the Alfredos ever since then. Mmm. That's nice. You know, I like Stargate because it really makes me think. It has the um, kind of realistic theoretical physics that the scientists really study today. Not so sure about vacuum point energy, like zero point modules, but it does make you think about interstellar travel, hyperspace technology, and such. I think I'm starting to say Z instead of the letter Z, like Americans say Z and Canadians and other countries they say Z. I don't know why. Z is like a whole other word, not just a letter, but I'm starting to say it a lot. This is a good time, so I see why Shane does this so much. You really gotta go to Pizza Hut for the cheese sticks. They really make the best. You can't go with crazy bread or cheese bread, whatever they call it. The Domino's and Little Caesars. Not the same. The best I've ever had. I used to go to this convenience store. Pretty much they'd give you like a cheese pizza and they'd just cut it up like cheese sticks. It was so awesome. It was like almost undercooked so it was really stringy and doughy. It was pretty good too. What I like about McKay is he always comes up with some crap under like a lot of pressure and stress. Like you give him like eight hours to solve a problem, he can't do it. You got 30 seconds. I'm on it. And he fixes it right then. It's awesome. Like the last episode, he had to activate the replicator or something. And that really pissed off Shepard, and he was like, Damn it, McKay! Ugh! Why'd you have to do that? 
now he's starting to correct his mistakes. I have to say, Star Trek and Star Wars, they both suck in comparison to Stargate. And I'm not just saying that to start off some kind of nerd war in my comments section and make this video like the most viewed for all time ever. Also, um, evolution is wrong and Christianity is right. You know what I hate? Gays. And blacks. But especially Jews. Don't even get me started on Chinese people. Three billion retards if you ask me. What other Chinese people you want to comment in my section? Make fun of me? I dare all three billion of you to say something about me. Holy oh, crap, he was at Warcraft on Stargate. I think he said that that world that they went on through the Stargate looked like Elwyn Forest. They tell me they didn't rip that off Star Trek right there. That's, that's alien technology that they found. Nightwolf totally has a boner for that chick right there. You could have seen Nightwolf's boner on tdrelenton.com. Oh yeah, this is really helping me wind down. Not that I really need to wind down, because I've already really been home since 7 this morning. I've already been to bed. I just woke up a little while ago. This is my breakfast. I used to have my own sort of ritual on Sundays after I stopped going to church when I used to live with my mom and dad. I used to, um, they would get up and eat cinnamon rolls and then go to church and then they wouldn't wake me up and then I'll just wake up and I'd eat their leftover cinnamon rolls. I'd take a shower, sit around like a bathrobe, and watch TV. I called it my Sunday morning ritual, but there wasn't really that much ritual to it, just me eating cinnamon rolls. Grape juice makes me really sleepy sometimes. So I either have to have it as soon as I wake up because there's no way I'm going back to sleep then. Or right before I go to bed because then it's okay to go to sleep. It's like... Without so much marinara. It's starting to take its toll. Still got two cheese sticks left. About half of an episode of Stargate. Um, a little drunk off this grape juice. God damn.